Hey guys, we're here at Inyo Craters, and here's the family. Say hi. Hi. All right. So we're at Inyo Craters, which was a uh, steam explosion 550 years ago. Isn't that right, Martha? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, oh, there's uh, Chief. All right. So, but check this out, guys. Isn't that cool? There's two of them. There's another one over there. Right, Kathy? Yep. Over there, but it's not as nice as not as deep or pretty as this one. Yeah, it's it's got more trees blocking. So like the Paiute Indians were the only people around here that would have been able to witness or hear the explosions. But there's no uh, according to the internet, there's no uh oral history or stories of these things blowing. But this is right by Mammoth Lakes, Mammoth Mountain. Um, it's pretty spectacular. It's an easy hike. Get a better shot. And if I could hike it, you guys could hike it. And uh, it's a really easy hike. It's like a mile and a half. And it's beautiful. And there's a brewery right down the hill, you know, if you get too tired. We're going to Hot Creek. Is it going to be our next stop? Which, uh, you know, it's probably a half hour away. So Deb's afraid of bears. I'm, I'm she said that there's uh, bears in here. What but kind, I love, what to, kind of see, I love to see them, black bears. Black bears? The cute little furry ones? Yeah, they're so cute. They're yeah. so hungry. They like it when people pet them and stuff. They don't really like the way humans taste. They'll attack you. They'll take a chomp out of you and decide they don't want to eat you. Yeah. They find a, a deer more appealing. You know, but they're, they're vegetarians, aren't they? Bears? I don't think so. No, they eat a lot of fish and they eat... They love people steak. They eat any game, Kathy? I think, well, it depends. Maybe There's a grizzly. Black bears, brown bears, black <laughs> So what did you guys think of the Inyo Craters? It's magnificent. Nice. It's so beautiful. So that's is Dan and Cheryl, our cousins. <laughs> We're camping here in uh, Mammoth Mountain, Mammoth Lakes. And this is his wife, Deborah. And wife Deborah. Yeah. Cousin Robert. And Robert, what did you think of uh, the Inyo Craters? And Kathy, lovely wife. I loved it. Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. Yeah. And uh, Chief? I like what, the little pond of water. What did, Chief, what did you think of the Inyo Craters? Hey, Chief. Yeah, no comment. There's nothing to say. No comment. He was waiting for Robert to say something. So, babe, what did you really think of the hike? Did you... You pushed through it. You did an awesome job. Yeah, I did. I did it. It's a little steep at the beginning. Yes. But, uh, it's all downhill from here. Down here. It's 1.6 miles on, according to all trails. Now I can catch my breath. And uh, it's got a 315-foot uh, total elevation gain. But we that's like the first third of a mile, and you're done. So it's pretty cool. Look at this beauty around here. Awesome. Now we got to go home. Crater. Or, or, or is it? All right, guys, we're probably, uh, you know, 150 yards from the rim of one of the craters, and we saw these boulders, and they're everywhere, and you could see how they're volcanic in origin. Uh, probably the lava that was down in the magma chamber and stuff, because it's got all these holes in it from the air going through it when it was molten. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And there's another one. And it's kind of mixed in with this, uh, I don't know, granite or something. But it's a totally different looking rock than uh, what we've seen on the other side of the trail because we're taking a different direction. There's another molten one. And there's a molten one. It's kind of all over the place. So between 550 and 650 years ago, these things blew. Uh, steam explosions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all. That's, this is all the rubble that came out of that thing, I'm pretty sure. It's just a beautiful area. Okay, we're at Hot Creek. Hey, baby. Is this the trail right here? This is the trail. Oh, it is? So, we're going to go down to Hot Creek. Check it out. So, so Hot Creek uh, was from a volcanic blast 
700,000 years ago. Right, babe? Yeah, baby. And um, it produced a caldera called Long Valley, 10 miles by 18 miles long and wide, uh, flanked by the Sierra Mountains, Sierra Nevada Mountains, and the Glass Mountains. And it's, you know, the Sierra Nevada's uh, version of uh, Yosemite right here in California. I have a question. How many people have died in this uh, sulfur pit? Uh, too many, I, I don't know. Yeah. People people go swimming, they don't heed the warnings. And, and they, uh, it's, you know, it's a natural uh, hot spring. And uh, the temperature fluctuates enough. People go in there when they think it's going to be comfortable. And then they get boiled to death. So... Anyway, let's get hiking. Definitely no joke. Right, Chief? Look at that. No doubt, guys. 14 people have lost their lives or been seriously burned. In Hot Creek since 1968. Uh, many more have been injured because you know you, you get in this river thinking it's going to be nice and comfy but then that uh, that hot well up of uh, hot water burps and creates a over temperature condition and and when you least expect it you just you can't survive. So folks, hey, if you don't mind, subscribe to our channel here. You know, we're a very small channel. Uh, it's absolutely free, helps us out, helps us helps me stay motivated to bring you more content and stuff. And I, we really, really love it when you guys stop by. Tell us what you think about our travels down in the description. So something pretty interesting, um, if you guys are into trees, uh, there's a lot of uh, ancient bristlecone around here, kind of mixed in with the local fauna. Uh, they live pretty old. We're talking thousands of years. Uh, if you know what you're looking for, they're here. They look really old. Uh, I think that might be one right there. But on uh, another adventure, we're going to take you guys to the ancient bristlecone uh, forest and kind of geek out on that.